Now I'm at the moment of procrastination because I'm worried if I'm going to screw this up. <laughs> I always still worry about that, especially in something like this. But now I'm going to work around the periphery of the cat's head and lay in the final colors for what will be the shape of the cat. There we go. The Himalayan cats can actually get pretty they can actually be brown, you know, like the one, in, if you ever saw the cat in Meet the Parents, the one with Robert De Niro and, and uh, Ben Stiller, and that cat was really a dark Himalayan cat, it was like a chocolate Himalayan cat with seal points. So I'm assuming that the Himalayan cat comes from the Himalayas? I don't know. It's a Persian cat with Siamese markings. Why they named it a Himalayan, I either don't know or I forgot. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look that up But I use them a lot in my paintings. Because you can see, graphically, it's an easy cat to do. If I was to do a tabby cat, that would take a little longer. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know. Um, I don't know, if I'm feeling industrious, maybe I'll paint it. Not in this painting. All right, now we got the we got our, our the face of our cat pretty well established. I'm gonna throw some more of this pink over here because uh, it looks so nice over there on that cat I mean, on the head. I need to get some on here. Now we're not doing a photograph here, so that gives us an incredible amount of freedom. There. Now, the fun part. Now, we're going to take our purple here, some of our blue, and I'm going to start, well, I'm going to make the ears. Person in my face. The mask. Cat's kind of facing that way, so you put the center of it kind of right in here. There we go. Oh, that's starting to look like something now. Sometimes I surprise even myself. <laughs> I see it on the main things too, but really pronounced on it. That was wow. Good. Good. Bit of a blend going here. With some of this rose color just kind of dropping some of that in. So. <laughs> yes, indeed. establish the eyes. And for the eyes, we're going to do a little bit of subtractive work here. I'm going to get me a uh, paper towel and my palette knife. Okay. 
and uh, I'm going to scrape away some of this paint so I don't have to mix a bunch of mud when I'm painting the eyes on there. Finger like that. That's okay. I messed up a little of the face. Mainly, I just wanted to get some paint out of the way so I can put my eyes in. And then I'll go back in and rework the details. So we're working general to specific. It's starting to look like one of those cats that doesn't recognize his own tail. Like he looks around and he thinks it's another Oh, animal. my alley cat actually does battle with his tail. He'll just chase it. He'll fight it once he gets it. And he's like, and he's like, oh man, that's one weird cat. So now, I want to make, make the, the eyes. The eyes, I'm going I'm to graduate to a smaller brush here. And the eyes of a Himalayan cat, uh, as with Siamese, are usually blue. So all I want to do is I want to make myself a nice light blue color, maybe with a little bit of green in it. I got some of this yellow here. So I'm just going to, that's a pretty bright phthalo blue. But I'll just keep a... Uh, Another way to do this, of course, is you take your trusty fan, your palette knife, and take some white and cut it with the blue there. Okay. Close enough. Close enough for jazz. And of course, there's the, the, the school of thought that says, you know, let's use, let's use our, uh, our palette knife as our, as our palette. And now I'm going to go in here and put in the circles of his eyes. And because I got rid of all that excess paint, I'm not mixing with any of this pink and purple stuff here. pretty nice. Now I want to add a little definition to these eyes. So I'm going to take some more of my uh, phthalo blue, a little dark here, and I'm going to hit the top of them like this. Because what we're seeing is just the irises of the cat. Now we're getting into nitpicky detailing work here. But that it really helps to find the eyes on the cat.